It's hot out there and the sun's bright rays can do some major damage to our skin if we don't take the right precautions. Learn what you should do if you get sunburned. I'm here with dermatologist Luis De Hesse. Thank you so much for your time. What exactly is happening to the skin when you get a sunburn? Okay, well, it's a, it's a process. Uh, to understand a sunburn is not just like a pain and blister, it's a lot of cells and inflammation on your skin. Um, when we receive like a ultraviolet radiation, that can cause like a damage to the cells um, and then can also cause like a vasodilation, like the blood vessels that we have under the skin, they dilate with the heat and with the sun damage, and that's why you see the redness. When the vessels are dilated, then there is more blood cells, like the white blood cells and red blood cells going to the skin and that cause inflammation and then sometimes can cause blisters. What is the best way for us to prevent a sunburn? Sometimes I have patients that they say, well, I put sunscreen every day, but I still get burned. And this is true. Sometimes for patients that have like a light skin, just sunscreen is not enough. They have to do more than that. They have to do um, avoid the sun, try to find like shades, then they need protective clothing, they need to wear hats, long sleeve. The other thing, the sunscreen doesn't last all day long. Most patients apply the sunscreen once in the morning, stay all day outside, and it doesn't last. You have to reapply every two hours. What is the difference between mineral and chemical sunscreens? Sure. Yeah, there is a lot of different kind of sunscreen and different like a, a active uh, ingredients on the sunscreen. Uh, we have physical filters and we have chemical filters. The physical filters are just like a barrier that block the ultraviolet radiation. They work, they are good. And those are the ones that we use for babies or for kids. We use only physical filters, they don't have any chemicals and they just create a barrier that avoid the, reflect the, the ultraviolet radiation. What we have to check for the sunscreen, a good sunscreen, it has to block against UVA and UVB, which is ultraviolet radiation A and B. Um, then the SPF, which is the number, the sun protection factor, it should be higher than 30. Anything higher than 30, if it is 50, 75, 100, it should work if you apply it properly and you reapply every couple hours. We recommend the highest, the better, and then they have to reapply, and they, they have to apply like a right amount, at least like a, two teaspoon to cover your body, like a regular, uh, sorry, like a spoons, not teaspoon, the soup ones. If you are sunburned, what should you do? Exactly, there are treatments, so there are things that you can do to help a sunburn, but the most important thing is sun protection and avoid the sunburn. But once you get sunburn, then we usually recommend like a sun, like a lotion, moisturizer, you can put like a sun cold compresses, um, to help with the with the with the sensation and with the with the heat and burning sensation, um, I like like a aloe vera based gels because they they help cool in the area. Sometimes for the burning sensation, you can take some like an anti-inflammatory medication like a, a ibuprofen. Um, for severe sunburn patients that have like a big blisters and severe pain, sometimes they have to go to the hospital. Sometimes we have to admit, give them fluid because they can get dehydrated. Oh, excellent. Great tips to stay safe out there this summer. Thank you very much to Dr. Luis de Hesa. Thank you.